Hey guys, welcome back to another Car TV vlog. I am coming at you from inside Mia at the moment because I am about to bolt on a whole bunch of accessories to my freshly built motor for this car. If you guys don't know what happened, um, because I haven't been updating YouTube almost at all, uh, what happened was the when I got the engine rebuilt last time, um, it wasn't built properly and therefore it was over honed, um, the cylinders were over honed and um, it didn't last, so let's put it that way. So basically now um, I've gone ahead and done everything properly. I haven't done any of the engine building myself because I don't deal with that, but um, I have given it to my friends at DNA Autosport and they were doing me a favor. They don't usually do engine builds, but they, they did it for me this time, so I'm pretty happy. So basically I just did like forged, forged pistons because we needed to go oversized because the bores were too big. Um, you know, just like little things like that. My crank was cracked that I didn't even know about. So there's like little things that were replaced, like the harmonic balancer, the water pump, um, the oil pump, this basically like a whole bunch of stuff was just, I'm, honestly, it's technically like a new engine at this point. So um, I'm not going to personally be getting it started, but your yeah, girl will be wrenching away because I'm going to be bolting on all the accessories, like I said earlier, and I'm going to be throwing that motor into the car as well. So I'll be like basically bolting on the clutch myself, um, putting the gearbox on, and then when it's time for the engine to go in, I'm going to get some assistance from my amazing dad. And um, we're going to throw it in and start plumbing everything up. But your yeah, girl is so excited. I haven't even tasted boost for like such a long time and I don't know about you guys but you know like I personally don't mind having a daily but I would much prefer to kind of like have a car there whenever I want to enjoy it or whenever I want to drive it to work or whenever I want to go for a cruise like I just miss this car so freaking much so I'm so excited but without further ado let's get to it all right, so before I show you guys the motor, I thought I'd show you guys what we're dealing with at the moment. So gearbox, tail shaft, everything is out. So I have to put that all back in myself. Um, this has been protected by seat covers, same with mine for a very long time. So I'm gonna have to put all this stuff together again, which I didn't take it apart. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'm sure we'll manage. Okay, so this is what the engine bay currently does look like. Uh, we're dealing with some interesting stuff not everything is out so we're not gonna have to worry too too much but you know like gotta put the radiator back in or the fan the shroud everything so I'm sure I'll be able to do that just step by step bit by bit and I'll show you guys what the motor currently looks like it's looking really good oh yes we're fresh I'll actually post a photo right now of what the forged um, internals look like. But here is my baby. Look at this. This is what we're dealing with. Okay, I'm so excited. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to hurry up and start bolting things onto this motor. Okay, it's me again talking over my time lapses because I have decided that I don't want to leave you guys in a boring scenario watching a time lapse for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> so as you can see here, all I'm doing is basically uh, bolting on all these brackets that I guess hold the, the alternator and also hold the um, power steering pump and I'm trying to figure everything out so don't, don't laugh at my positionings when I, when I might get some things wrong because this is actually my first time assembling an SR20 and I had no idea what I was doing because unfortunately I didn't take it apart. However, I'm very, very, very grateful to have ERG Motorsports who actually took the motor apart. They didn't build it, but they did take it apart and um, they bagged everything, which was completely awesome. As you can see here, just keep cleaning off that additional like gasket glue that was dried up and all yucky on that water neck and now I'm just going ahead and installing all those hoses and the AC compressor bracket at the moment 
you might see me like talking, smiling, having a little dance or something in between in my time lapse. <laughs> Um, I like to dance and just, I don't know, kind of hang out with myself, I guess, because it was literally no one was there today, so... Bumping some music and hanging out. And I do fiddle around quite a bit with these um, hoses, the, the cooling hoses, so I think you'll see that in just a second. There we go. She's on the phone. <laughs> Make sure that you put some gasket glue around um, those water necks as well that connect to the hoses. Just simply because you just want to take all the precautions you can. I don't think that actually had a gasket at all. So I bought the full Nitto gasket kit for the engine uh, and I couldn't find that those two hoses. Now we are just going around the engine again, still working on figuring out how these hoses go. Um, yeah, so as I said, definitely put some gasket glue around those two little um, water necks that go to the block. It's just better to be safe than sorry than to just put nothing on it. I don't know. I feel like definitely sealer needs to go there. That's that's what my logic told me anyway. So I did just want to say a huge thank you to DNA Autosport for allowing me to use this specific hoist um, to put this engine in and also thank you for building me up my engine so amazing. I can't wait to drive the car and I still haven't but I can't wait for the moment that I do. And there we go, we're installing my turbo. Uh, I do recommend using a specific type of spanner, it's like an extra long uh, O-ring spanner. I just feel like it helps with those like tightening the nuts and the threads for the exhaust and also be sure that if you're going to do that to replace all of your gaskets. Um, as you can see I'm installing a new gasket for my intake manifold too just to take those extra precautions like if you go this far you might as well go a little bit further you know and just do a proper job. <laughs> So here I am practically just like getting all of the hoses and putting those hoses into the intake manifold because I know that there's a couple that go there um, and I'm just making sure everything sits right and bolting it all on properly. I make some interesting faces in time lapses. <laughs> if you agree, Please like this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm just tightening all of those nuts that go on the intake manifold now. I'm very grateful that the whole unit was kind of like all one and and same with the turbo as well like I'm really happy that it was all one unit like nothing was taken apart really it was just like only the necessary stuff was taken off okay and we're just sliding on a bolt to that alternator and trying to figure out how everything goes <laughs> Now I'm tightening that water neck that goes, there's probably a proper name for that, but I'm just gonna say like, I know that there's a water neck on the exhaust side as well, but you know, I'm just gonna call it that because technically coolant passes through it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like a thermostat there too. So anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to put as 
as many of the brackets back onto the motor as possible properly because I just wanted to make sure like Mia is kind of a little bit precious to me and I try to keep like I know it's completely aftermarket and everything's been changed but I still try to keep like some sort of originality I don't want it to look like it's completely missing anything as you can see I'm just tightening bit by bit those um, nuts on the exhaust side I'm not gonna lie guys if you have a long sleeves please do this if you have exhaust wrap on your dump pipe because it will save you the itch and the scratch and the stinging to that my arms were like really really itchy and stuff so yeah as you can see i just put sealant on that too on the sandwich plate as well that is pretty much it. I don't know what happened to my camera here. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what happened. Like, it's gone a bit like fuzzy, but it doesn't last throughout the whole video, which is kind of a positive thing. So, the way that I'm putting it on the floor, I just did it like it was a front wheel drive motor. <laughs> People criticize me for that on Instagram, but you know what? Like, I'm just putting it on the floor. I ended up changing the positioning of the leveler anyway so not to worry oh sad days this happened when I was uh, taking off the engine from the stand but here we go guys this is what she looks like at the moment um, all the accessories are bolted on so I put on the turbo, put on all the brackets, the water necks, everything is done. So now, um, the last thing I'm going to do today is I am going to bolt on the clutch and um, do all that properly. I have done a little tutorial on my Instagram. It's actually like a quick one, um, just to show you guys how I did it uh, about two years ago. So if you guys are interested, hop on my Instagram and have a look. But this is her. We are so close and then tomorrow morning I'm going to hop in and uh, basically get the gearbox, bolt it on and uh, get my dad's help and drop it in. So now I'm putting on the clutch and this is kind of interesting because I always say like do things kind of once and do them right. However. I kind of skipped a few things. Look at me taking selfies. What the hell? <laughs> um, I kind of skipped a few things in terms of the bolts. Um, everything else was done properly, but I kept the flywheel bolts only because I know that they were torqued correctly. But something happens very shortly where I definitely know that I should have replaced the pressure plate bolts. But I didn't listen to my, my logic and what it was telling me. I just went ahead and use them anyway and you will see what happens in a moment but basically what i'm doing is i put like a little bit of grease like on the under the head of the bolt and i also used some loctite um and i wrapped them on each other using two different bolts and it just gets like the loctite all through the threads um, there's a specific way that you're meant to do this you're meant to do this like around and around and around um and i'm just looking on the internet for talk specs and around and around we go multiple times until you'll see what happens alrighty so I'm gonna call that a wrap because I actually can't do anything until tomorrow anyway because guess what the person who did the clutch last time um, actually over tightened the bolts and when I went to go torque it with my torque wrench it basically snapped because the bolts were pretty sad hopefully have this running sooner rather than later because I, I miss this car so much I miss you Mia thank you guys for watching as always and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next one